How much have you shot your, your gun here, Jeff? I, I haven't. I, the first year I had it, I, I probably shot 500 rounds through it. And, um, and then it's just been sitting in my closet, closet okay. waiting for SHTF. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Nice. Now, the last last question I have for you, and a lot of my viewers out there are diehard AK-47 enthusiasts, and they probably want to know why you would choose an AR-15 over an AK-47 for an SHTF scenario. I trust my sons. Okay. All right. Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. I, my, my son said, you got to get an AR-15, and um, and I know my, my oldest son, he's got a literal arsenal at home. For an SHTF scenario? Yeah. Okay, and, really? Okay. And he just said, you, you got to get one, Dad. If you need it, it it'll come in handy. Do so. you happen to know if your son has an AK-47 in his arsenal? You know, I don't, but I just sent him a note this morning and asked him as soon as he could to send me a list of his arsenal. Okay, great, yeah. So hopefully... we uh, have to come back to another video and let <laughs> us know. That, so hopefully I'll get that shortly and I'll be able to tell you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, uh, another question that comes to my mind have you stocked up on ammo? With yes, purpose? I have. Okay. Yeah. How many rounds do you think you have just offhand? Uh, about 5,000. 5,000 rounds, a, a two, two, three. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. All righty. Yeah. Any other guns in your arsenal for your SHTF? Uh, uh, yep. Yeah, I've got, um, I have several um, um, Koenig handguns. Okay. Those are um, the Turkish made. Nice. Um, and they just, um, I think they only got into making handguns about 15 years ago. They, are, they were into the aerospace business. They made things for the aerospace industry, uh, fine pieces of equipment and tools. And then they started um, manufacturing uh, uh, pistols. And uh, they've got some of the nicest, I, my, my opinion, of course, the nicest pistols around as far as accuracy, shootability, comfort. And um, in their packages, they give you so much more than you get with any other pistol you buy. You typically, uh, you get extra magazines. In the, this last one that I just bought, um, you actually get an extra recoil spring in case you want to shoot light loads. Um, and um, they give, you get a holster, you get a cleaning kit, you get a tool kit. Um, you can, uh, this one came with, uh, with a red dot sight. It's also made by Koenig. So I, I have uh, four of those. I've got four Koenigs. I'm really sold on them. Once I shot the first one, I was sold on it. And I've had some other ones. I've had Smith & Wesson, um, but I just really fell in love with the Koenig line. Great. Great. And I do have a 20-gauge shotgun, but that was just that really wasn't bought for um, SHTF. It was bought for my daughter to shoot um, uh, trap. And... Uh, that's just in her closet in case we ever need it. <laughs> okay, great. Um, I got a couple other questions. Um, do you have spare t uh, parts for an SHTF scenario? I, I just made a video that'll be here on my channel. And um, I talk about having extra parts for these AR-15s. Do you happen to have an extra extractor and extractor spring? I do not. Okay. I have no extra parts. That's an excellent idea, but I do not have any okay. extra That's parts. That's one thing you might want to consider uh, all my viewers out there is have extra parts for these things um, not all of them aren't fail proof so it's, right. it's a good idea right excellent yeah but uh, we're anxious to shoot this thing for you and uh, see how it groups now one of my viewers wrote in and said you know I'd like you to shoot a group of five instead of a group of three sure and I think that's a good idea to shoot groups of yeah. five and we'll try to hold it real still. Of course, we're not going to use a towel here, so we'll try to keep it real still for you and, and see what, what the grouping is with this gun. Good. But, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to shooting this for sure. Yep. Well, thanks for joining us. and, and stay Well, tuned. thanks for having me. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Jeff. All right, let's get going and shoot. Okay.
You're over to the right now. It's better. Where are we at? Well, he only shot two, but there were one is here and one was there. So I don't know. Okay. Shoot five. Okay. shot the ear. Pardon? You shot the ear. Much better. Getting there. 5.56 five, now. Pardon? Don't do any adjustments. Try the 5.56. Five, five, That gun likes 5.56 five, better. <laughs> <clears throat> Bull's Bullseyes? No, but two of them were. Oh, good. Yeah, that's a lot better than you've been doing with the 2.23. Yeah, a lot better. Yeah. A lot better. Great. Great. What am I going to do with 5,000 rounds of 2.23? <laughs> Well, I could still hit something, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're hitting at bigger targets anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You want to shoot more 5.56? Five, yeah, let's do five more, just to make sure. Yeah. If you don't mind. No, not at all. Here we go. Okay. Well, Jeff, um, there was one thing that we didn't discuss, and that was the trigger pull. People are probably wondering what what this uh, trigger pull is on your gun. You know, I haven't measured it. I, I'm not sure. Um, do you have a way to measure it? I, I do, but not with me. I've okay. Got, I, I can measure it when I get home and let you know. Okay, great. Yeah, yep. so what, is it a two-stage trigger or a single stage? It's single stage. Okay. Yeah. All right. But, um, and it's, it, you know, it is, it's a little tight, but it's not, um, 
it doesn't feel burdensome at all. It's a, it's a smooth, it's a nice smooth trigger. Okay. But I'll measure that when I get home. I got a trigger pull gauge at home. Okay. Well, let's go over your let's go over your target here, uh, Jeff, and uh, let's talk about it. Now, at right when we started here, let's hold this up for them so they can see that. But right when we started, your gun was shooting a little bit over the left, and this is mostly two two three. Do you remember? It's all two two three. Yeah. Th this is all two two three in here. Yeah. yeah. Well, you didn't hit outside the number nine uh, circle, so right. I mean that's that's successful right there. But we got it. We eventually got it centered pretty much around that X. Looks good. Yep. Yeah. You came back. You went a little bit over this way a little bit, and then we came back and adjusted it, and you improved it quite right. a bit. Yeah. And then the the next uh, five, or I think we got around how many we got in there. We got five, a little over five, but uh, uh, that was two, two, three also up there. Yep. And I, we made an adjustment after that first shot, <coughs> excuse me, which is on the ear. Oh, right here, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then we adjusted back, yeah. <coughs> and the rest were where they belong. Okay, and then we, I wanted him to try some of my 5.56 five, and see which one the gun likes, because you have to find out which, which ammo works the best in your barrel. And it really made no difference, because we, here we had 5.56 five, and we came back here and he finished up with this 223 and you know you got one here in the bullseye you got one here in the bullseye with a 223 yep. you know yep. and, and they're all kind of to the right except this one flyer here yep and i was i was a little concerned here when the 556 five, did so well cuz i have so many rounds of this yeah 5000 right <laughs> 5000 rounds i certainly hope it gets to like this just before <laughs> you you decide to buy a a, a bunch of ammo for the SHTF uh, scenario, make sure that you find out which one your gun likes first, right? So anyway, luckily Jeff here, he um, he, he he can use either or, 5.56 five, or 223. Yep, they both shoot very well. Yeah. Anything else that you, uh, how much have you shot your, your gun here, Jeff? I, I haven't, I sh the first year I had it, I, I probably shot 500 rounds through it. And, um, and then it's just been sitting in my closet. closet. Okay. Waiting for SHTF. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great fun. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks again for Thank you. joining us. Appreciate it. A lot of fun. It. All right. Thanks. thanks again. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, share it with your friends, and leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.